So, um, okay, so with what we mentioned, Patreon. So next up on the Patreon list is the fact that they're looking at um, censoring? censoring anime. And this is a quite a big deal now, like I mentioned um, uh, on on our page last week about how Aussie was, the Senate in Aussie was going to try to censor all anime, regardless of uh, the age or the, um, or the you know, which age group it's for if it's for adults it's for um and sense my anime yeah sense my anime, seriously um but, and you know and so what happens is a lot of times there's a knee-jerk reaction to something that somebody sees without understanding the whole thing right they were going to censor some uh some character on amazon who was an 18 18 year old character but of course anime has has a real um cartoony look to it that's edgy yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of them look youthful yeah yeah true. and the cartoony look to it and so because they have a cartoony look to it people think that's that's it's a 12 that, year old yeah it's a 12 year old right or a six year old <laughs> and so not no not actually ex, uh, ex, expanding your brain on what 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 the whole uh anime um arena is about the art form itself people tend to just have an eject reaction i know members of my family go well anime is all crap Oh no! Sorry, not crap. That it's got it's got, they're all sort of the same thing. All the mangas, are all sort of thing. It's like, and I'm going, yeah, no, it's not really because you can watch Dragon Ball Z, be a, a 13 year old enjoy that, or you can be a 30 year old enjoy that, right? Mm. And I've never seen Dragon Ball Z, and I've got nothing against it, but it's not for me. I don't, I'm not into that sort of style. But I will watch something else. Like I was um, I posted yesterday, um, earlier this morning about um. Uh, Island of Giant Insects. It sounds good, right? It's it's really it's a really interesting um, anime because I saw the twenty minute um, short of it, where uh, you're actually learning about insects. This is a, this is a weird thing, and one of the lead characters is basically yeah. someone who was scared as a child of insects. How big and are the insects? They're huge, like giant. How big is an ant? They're like, they're like huge, like that. Like Probably the size of a jungle. About the size of a, jungle, they, they, the size of a, size of a room. Yeah, they can basically carry a person away. So it's a it's a <laughs> horror. Right? So <laughs> whereas uh, Dragon Ball is Z is what a fantasy fighting uh, kung fu style thing. Mm -hmm. Whereas this is the well, Dragon Ball Z is in a sense of sci fi. Right. So whereas this one goes the other way, where it's like uh, it's a horror sh a horror um, manga anime, where you know people are stuck on an island. And it's horror in the sense they get eaten up by um, you know by wasp and stuff and you know and you learn about what wasps how wasps behave you know they lay larvae in you and suddenly the larvae you know pops out and stuff and also they numb you so you, you know they mm. numb their victims so that the victims don't feel anything insects and so are there's, fascinating yeah. there's a million different ways they do for sure mm. right. um, and the other one was uh, I think it was Doctor Rock or something like that. Which I found really interesting. It teaches about how to survive in a post uh, nuclear world, where how do you sort of come back from not having any technology? And it's it's kind of like this is the education side of anime, I right? Think I, I think you see that in a lot of things. Some clever storylines. Like there was a comic about the sun getting to like a red dwarf or a white a red giant state, yeah. and the guy was in like a suit and he had to come out of the sewers at, at certain times. Because yeah. otherwise, even in the suit, he'd melt and he had to try and find water and shit. Mm. Uh, so there's some fascinating concepts. But that's the cool thing about it, right? Like, it's like... It's, got it's, other, it's, 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 got, it's more than just a, a kid in their underwear or someone yeah. pissing themselves or whatever it is. Or and this, this some is, yeah, ambiguous and, kind of neo-rape scenes. Yeah, and this is what the confusion is. The confusion is that somebody saw the tentacle thing <laughs> at one time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like that is it that defines yeah, the entire the technical things to yeah, churches I just yeah but I mean it's not even just churches it's it's like it doesn't even mainstream yeah, well, I people I mean you can see how it's offensive yeah. but that's one of the beautiful things about creating is because mm. say you wanted to do something in anime and they so they've got less senses than us and you yeah. go fuck it I'm just going to go to a primary school and mow them all down and have some storyline around that but yeah. I'm just going to do it and it's a cartoon and so why the hell can't I you know, these big, goofy, like, happy eyes and whatnot. Yeah. Like, you can, and you but should be able to. But that's not only in anime, though. 
there's there's a there's a comic book written but it's by less Mark. common the more western you go so i mean yeah. on that style they are a little bit more edgy mm. and it's good that they have that outlet why it doesn't mean that they go and do it it doesn't yeah. mean they agree with it maybe the story is anti that but they're just exactly. making a loud bout bold message yeah and it's powerful or it might even be entertaining but who cares they're doing it for entertainment maybe there's a le lesson to be learned but it's an outlet right yeah and, i think it's cool and i outlet. think entertainment outlet and i think the confusion is that like because it's there, this is what people are thinking. This is what they're going to do, mm. and that's that's been that's been about music as well. Yeah, comics, music. Yeah, it's it's just like it's like if you're listening to heavy metal. Yeah, if, yeah, exactly. So if you if you're listening to heavy metal, you're you're devil worshiper and you're going to mm. murder people, and and or if you're hip hop, you're just going to mow people down and stuff. And it's just it's been the people use have used art for so many um, censoring things. So they always start small and. Um, you know, they'll start with like say, oh well, because it's this thing, and they will start with that slowly. And next thing you know, you're living in a gray world with no art, uh, and that's what that's, that's what communism really is it's, for me. It's interesting, but in a sense, right? I think that world it's got us positives too. It'd be, I I feel that kind of world would be safe. Mm. Like you know, if you kind of try and steer away from it, it's a very negative message, and we don't agree yeah. with this, and we don't want that. I mean, I don't want to live in that world, but yeah. it does feel to me like, I mean, it could be a safe... It could be like machines, and, right? Yeah, in a sense. Like, uh, like soulless machines and nothing. It kind of stifles your, your freedom to think, but not everyone yeah. needs that. And I mean, as mm. far as lifestyle, mm. I don't think it would be, t again, an interesting kind of story motif. Yeah. Like... Uh, and this is the joy of being, um, being creators. Uh, it's like you're able to bring color into other people's life and being, um, entertain people 